Hey everybody, welcome back to the Adventures of the Pacific Pounder, which, if I might add, we might need to start tinkering with a new name because we got some armor going on here, which is real sick. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe Pacific Pound Cake. It's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit of a diversion from Pounder, but still it, it, all encompassing the vibe. I don't know. We haven't scanned a checkpoint. Let's hit this up. Once upon a time, zone travel was heavily monitored. Its instances of in instability and unpredictable weather increased. Regular checkpoints were installed not only for security, but also to track movement to ensure employees were journeying safely through the region. They had allowed ARDA to monitor each vehicle and send out search teams to find any that had recently checked in. Unstable regions could even be closed off and safe routes opened up in response to the ever-changing hazards of the zone. Trespassing may have been one kind of problem, but in an increasingly unpredictable corner of the world that was soon eclipsed by lost or missing colleagues and equipment. These days, a few remaining zone inhabitants use the still-functioning, still-reliable access markers to determine which roads are stable enough to travel on. Cool. Okay. Now, we don't have any, like, repair stations around here, unfortunately. That's a bit of a bummer. Uh, and we have a couple of different anchors. So I think since all of our objectives are over here, looks like on some train tracks, perhaps, we're going to hit up like this area. We'll grab this, check these houses, grab this, ch maybe check that. We'll see. And then we'll come down and grab this one and then check our objectives, right? And then we have like, we do have an exit up over here. And I'm curious. Well, actually, this is probably a wall. This is probably the wall. We have to find a way into the wall. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's go. It's taken us a little bit of time to get here, traversing through the other sections of the zone. And most of them have been pretty... unstable. Or unstable? Unstable. It's been a... Woo! We actually need these. So... This is great. Let's just make sure these are the same ones. Yeah, see, like... We need... Thermosap crystals. And these guys didn't drop any of them. Unfortunate. Just my luck. I'm sure that there's going to be another way to get Thermosap. Because we need a lot of it, and having it limited to just those tourists is probably not going to get it done. Wait, can I not take everything? Sure I can. Bubble, 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 bubble head. Bubble, 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 bubble head. Bubble, 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 bubble head. You know, I'm pretty sure that these are like... It's gonna turn out that these are real people or something. Uh, hopped up. Are you the battery charging type? Restore all their power, yep. I'll take you. Uh, what the hell? That was weird, right? Can I make... Oh, I have an extra flare, actually. I see one. Only, like, 400 left. <laughs> we'll get there in no time. Look at the animation. What the heck is that? Uh, I have never noticed that before. What is that? 
Like, when I click on it, it does that little helicopter thing. I wonder if that's because I have something attached to me that's helping me. One of the many unanswered questions that I have. That was intentional. And see, now I got, like, other things going on there. What is that? I didn't see any red things pop up. What's down here? And what's this thing? Oh, that's probably... Okay, so that's the wall. And that's the, the anchor that we said we were going to get. Last, so that's what we'll do. We'll stick to it. expansion wall. It separates the outer zone from the mid zone and more importantly, us from those two idiots. <laughs> this will get you one step closer to the deep zone. It's far past its prime, so watch your step. I understand. I'm just going to park up here because I'll probably I'll run back to that anchor, bring it to the car here, and then we've got the two um, buildings here we want to check. Little dangerous out there. Full MRE. Oh, look at this. There might be. Okay, so maybe just the glowing ones have it. Is that possible? No, I don't have anything else to throw. What the? I'll just go for a little kick. And be a little bit more cautious. So no, it, it doesn't... It's just random. It's just random. And it's not even that good of a drop, which means this is definitely not going to be our main source of thermosap. Conclusion drawn, experiment complete. No! No! <laughs> oh my god. The thing is, they can just pop up out of the ground, so even if you don't think you're running over one, it can still get you. So let's see. Okay, so there doesn't appear to be an actual upper limit. Because we are at the top of the meter. And that number is increasing. That's positive. Oh, I got armored stuff. Okay. Let's go back for our special tool.
Okay. I don't have any more flare guns. I'll take the Liberator. And we'll throw this on to... Let's just say five. Oops. That's fine. Six is good. That is definitely the hand back. I knew that. Yoink. We can start replacing our other front panel here. Any other armor pieces? Yeah. Now this thing is cracked. Um, I suppose I can try to fix it though. Let's see if I have what it takes. Ceiling kit. Oh, you know what? I bet you I have ceiling kits. I do. I have a bunch. And repair putty. Can I afford that? I can afford one. We'll try to keep these limb pulse things beefed up, even though we haven't run into any abductors or anything. Okay. Let's drive the car over there. I'm going to need a crowbar. Maybe I'll just pop out another one here if I can afford it. I can't. Duct tape. I think one of the best practices we could try to institute here is like... Get us to the point where we're always bringing out new... Equipment at the beginning of a run instead of being cheap. There's some duct tape. That's good. More duct tape. I do wonder if Pacific Drive does loot in a way where it kind of determines what you have or what you might be low on and then drops accordingly. Some games do that. I don't know if this one does, but... Okay. I'm gonna need a scrapper, as you can see. Let's just go until this one blows up. What is this? Oh, thermal sap. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Wait, I think this is maybe my new one. That's what's going on. Let's see if there's anything I can break down in here. A workbench. Oh, look at this! Out in the wild. It's not as roomy as what we got at the auto shop, but it'll do. So if there was something more intense we needed to make here, I guess we could do it, but I don't have a purpose for that right now. Let's just eat this straight off the shelf.
Who designed that door? A psychopath. All right, that scrapper's gone. This scrapper's mine. Let's move. See that squeaking right through there? Not gonna lie. That was pretty good. That was pretty, pretty, pretty good. All right, I'll bust this down. Now that we've dealt with those, like, aggro shock towers, this is nothing. The aggro ones almost shoot out before you can pump up the, uh, the impact hammer. So it makes dodging that stuff a little bit more precarious than usual. So we're at... 7.4, 7.7. Okay. Now, we're gonna head over here. And I'm assuming that we're just gonna be driving through that hole that we found. Unless there's multiple and they're possibly dead ends. Do you have to be cautious of the water situation here? Looks like we're gonna be fine. And there's like three objective markers here, so I'm, ass I'm assuming that's each of these, and well, two is gonna be the way to go. Hold up. This car might have some stuff we want. And also, let's put you back on mine. Do you have anything? Steel, steel. Alright, nothing too crazy. I guess those parts that I blew off, too, I could have scrapped them down from that last car. Okay, so let's put this on two. And then, can I make a flare gun? 
I don't know if I unlocked that. I don't think I did. I better eat this. Because I'm slowly dying. Find a way through. Yeah, I'm on it. Oh, look at this. This is a different vibe, hey? Let's just take a look-see. Somebody was living in here. Not very well, but they were living in there. So there's an exit down there. whole bunch of towers. Okay, let's um let's put these on Okay, 5. That's what I meant. Yep. And then we'll put our whoops. Put our impact hammer on 4. One crystal. Listen to the sounds, man. They nailed it. It's so good. I'm going to drive the car down there and just see... We did obviously see that that entrance that or that exit possibly that I pointed out. But let's see what we're working with. There's light down there, which tells me maybe that's where we can go. But also, like, this is cool in here. I kind of want to just see what else might be happening. Ugh. That still worked. So I maybe get, maybe get one crystal out of a batch of them. Maybe.
I know I'm running past the car. I'm just I'm just exploring, just checking things out. Might as well take this too. So what is this one powering then? It will remain a mystery. Yeah, see, there's this little road to the left up there. That must be our exit, then. Really? Really? Maybe not. It does feel like we're on the right track, but... Okay, maybe this will loop back around. Sure, sure. Have faith. Here we go. And just like that... Yeah, please do. Yo, that wasn't too treacherous at all. At all. So there's a stabilizer there. It looks like, okay, it looks like the same icon as Perpetual Stability, but it's not. It also has Unstable Energy in the top right there. A whole bunch of stuff we've never seen. If you look down in this section, uh, we haven't seen anything. So that's scary. Low fuel. Good resources, good building density. Radiation density is low. Okay. I'm mentally prepared. Please have a repair station. Nope. Hello, friend. They have charging. Welcome to our side of the wall. Oh, what's this? Your connection to Wabi is jam. Uh, oh, worry not. <laughs> so I, oh, they probably jammed it. A little bit obvious, don't you think? Right, ask me if I can. Yeah, and the mid zone's been marinating all this radiation for so long. Things don't look at man. We got a new biome. The zone. But the good news is, we live here. We can help you. No sweat. <clears throat> first things first, we've got to extend the signal from the garage. Otherwise, Avi's equipment won't be much help. Hooking you into a mid-zone stabilizer should do the trick. Look around. You should be able to see one up a hill somewhere. Okay. We will. I want to check the cars here to see if we got anything different going on. Oh, we're, we're crude here. We're at crude. Any anomaly we see, we have to scan. Like those big red whatevers.
Uh, crude headlight. What is this? Marsh eggs. That's new. Or the organic material within these soft shells displays a remarkable, even alarming ability to regrow itself when harmed. If it could be synthesized with organic or semi-organic compounds, the applications could be remarkable. Thermosap. Yep. Okay, that's a good. That's a very, very good sign. What is this? Excuse me. Bubble gum, buddy. Oh, they're pulling me. Hi there, Dr. Cook. This is Tobias Barlow from Maintenance. I think I know why your field equipment is missing, and uh, you're not going to like this. So me and a bunch of the folks been doing requisition and inventory have been losing gear too, but also finding it again later in different areas of the zone. We thought we lost some to high winds, but some to, you know, scrambling. But the weather's been pretty normal, and we realized the zone hasn't had a tantrum in a while, so we did a kind of stakeout. Left some old gear at a test site, and you won't believe it, these things are like gooey fireflies or will-o'-the-wisps or something. They come out of the trees and kind of band together. They grab stuff like magpies and then pass it around like a football team. Anyway, I know you scientists wanted to know more about this stuff, so I figured I'd take notes. There's uh, quite a lot. I did some sketches, took some numbers, and I repeated things like in an experiment. I figured you might want to see, so mind if I drop this stuff by? Those pneumatubes are malfunctioning again. Okay. Salamander Grotto. Am I dying here? Uh, yeah, sort of over there. And I'm very low health. This is actually kind of sketch. Worn out. Um. Salamander Grotto. Where would that be? Is it in this list? Nope. Huh. Okay, it did say... Oh, here, I can just do it from here. Okay. It was in the resources. You know, it's almost like frog spawn. The thing is, I don't see any signs of it growing or changing. I've now collect discovered a dozen such collections of these egg-like things, and sure, they must be organic, but I have little more to go on than that. Do they function like eggs and provide some form of incubation and safety? How are they sustained? And if all, or even some of that is the case, what is growing in here? Growing or waiting? They're curiously warm in a fashion quite unlike anything I've ever seen or come across. It's almost calming. I see nothing tending to these, nor any evidence of what might have first deposited them. The only connection I can find is that those gigantic glowing orbs are usually nearby. And what little wildlife I can still recognize around here steers well clear. It steers well clear. And I need the hand vac for this. Oh my god, that is a lot of... That is a lot of them. Huh. I do have to be cautious of my health. Orb. I'd estimate it's been some 10 to 12 months now, maybe more. I'd hope the passage of seasons would serve as at least some broad frame of reference, but that doesn't seem to happen here anymore. The climate's largely constant while the weather is subject to these sudden swings that are impossible to predict. Storms appear out of nowhere. Rain is sometimes spontaneous. The skies clear quite suddenly, though never enough that I can get a good look at the stars. However, my compass still seems to be working, at least most of the time. The moon, however, that's something else. I can usually still make it out, but something is different. Something is changing. I can't tell if it's some local atmospheric change here or... But to suggest anything beyond that is ridiculous. Why would the moon have changed? And on the subject of strange orbs, these static glowing spheres have been changing color again. They're now a curious shade of orange or burnt sienna. This seems to be their most static color yet, and I wonder if this signals some state of maturity. We'll see. They seem to be somehow guarding these strange nests of giant frog spawn. No, I shouldn't say guarding, because that implies intelligence, but they're often nearby, which is what's referenced in the salamander thing, too. I found a new cache of food last night, and I have nothing but time, so I shall contemplate these orbs. 
Okay, I gotta double check if I have any healing because this is kind of sketchy. Nothing there. And nothing there. That is not great. Oh, I can make a first aid kit. That's, yeah, that's great. Okay. And can I, I, can I make a hand back? Uh, can't craft this. Why is that? Is that because... Yeah, why is that? I have the materials. Huh. I'm just looking at the differences here. Maybe I don't maybe I don't have it unlocked, but then no, I would cuz it's here. I'm not I'm not sure. So I'm probably going to be limited on what I can get. Also, is this safe? Whoops. Rip. Okay. Oh, I can... I can grab these. But then I can't put them in my backpack, it seems. Oh, now I'm just tossing them all. I don't want to do that. Oh, here we go. Weird. I think I have to, like... Pull them off. Yeah, okay. So it's like I'm holding them. But this is definitely not ideal. Don't mind me, guys, just picking at my marsh eggs. Little bundles of testicular looking spheres. Okay, back to the car. So, is it at all possible that I need to to do? It says I have none of those. Now it says I have enough to craft it, right? But, yeah, very, very strange. Huh, okay. I'm not sure. I'll have to toy with that. I haven't been stumped like that for a minute, so... It's all good. Let's move on. This thing is lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh, hello. The abductor's got those things attached to it, pulling it around. Ha! Huh. Neat. I don't have a vacuum to pull that. Let me ditch this. Uh-oh. Well, actually, let's see... Let's do a little test. See how our limb pulse emitter. Ah, yeah, okay. So they they tried to attach to me, yes. That's fine. But maybe that limb pulse pushed the abductor back.
It's eerily quiet here. Why? This is much more alien than the previous section. And at a glance, it's kind of hard to tell what might be an anomaly or not, like... Let's just take a look. I'm seeing all these little bulbs on the side of the road, right? But no. We're definitely going to check the buildings. There's probably new stuff. Big Don's conglomerate still happening here. Okay, this is definitely something. This seems like it's... Oh, hold on. A cough box. It's difficult, you know, I mean, what do you tell a guy's mom? Do you say, sorry, Miss Baker, your son is just a glob of goo now? Do you say it wasn't an entirely meaningless death that those scientists probably got some data from it? Do you say, I saw him dissolve right in front of my eyes, but a lot of his clothing is still okay? <laughs> Here's his superhero shorts. He just ran straight into the thing. It was so pointless. I feel bad for her. They're asking why it won't be an open casket. For Christ's sake, you could pour him into a jar. You might as well pump him into the coffin. Sad. Sad? No. I saw way worse things in the war, and they happened to people I cared about a lot more. This guy, this guy was a jerk. So you want to see that new Poitiers movie? That guy's slick. All right, so don't go in there. Got it. Oh my god, that's a huge dumpster pearl. It just hit me. This crude headlight... Probably don't need this, to be honest. Don't worry, I'm just getting slowly run over by my car. It must be something that I installed that's adding that, because that is... I don't remember it. new truck type. ARDA investigator. So I think the reality of so much work, even the work that is about our dreams and our uh, ambitions, the kind of work we put so much more of our time and energy into is compromise. My hope was that we could create practical, reliable mobile laboratories to allow us to better do our jobs. With the zone increasingly unstable, increasingly changing, I thought it was a novel solution. We could analyze many of our findings on site. We could respond to changing conditions. Uh, in a timely manner, relocating ourselves to study new weather behavior or anomalies the moment we heard about them. We could work in a safe, secure environment. But now we have this. Slow, clumsy trucks that perform poorly off-road, that lack a dedicated laboratory space, that aren't even hermetically sealed. The lead shielding built into them is often too thin. Lead shielding might be able to get some. The equipment we've mounted is too old. Budget constraints and compromise mean we've created nothing more than a portable chemistry set. What's more, ARDA claim have named it the Investigator, like they chose the driest name they could think of, and all this will have to do. Yeah. Steel. 
Summers. Summers. Hello. I'll just use this. Okay. Let's see if there's a, an entrance. Made one. I better dump all this stuff. Okay, we're getting pretty full here. Deckle sketchy. Okay. Nice little grunge thing. The rocks are breathing. That doesn't even surprise me, honestly. I'll turn off my lights here because my battery is dropping a bit more than I'd like. Jeez, so much junk in here. And I mean, like, I'm happy to have it. That's the thing. That might be, that might be the sad part. Looking rough in here. Uh, you know what we can do? Let's <laughs> let's ditch this. This will be the time that, of course, see. It also says I can't craft this here. And I'm trying to figure out why that is. Like, it looks like these are being listed as, like, this tier two. Uh, and maybe that means... Maybe I need, like, a tier two bench in here. Maybe that's what is happening. Crafting tier one, it says here. So maybe that's my, like, maybe that's my crafting tier, and, like, I, I don't have that. See, if I go here, we have tier one. So that must be it. We're going to have to look at that when we get back to base. Because that seems like something we're going to need to craft out in the wild.
Okay, the stabilizer is gonna go on. With hopefully no issues. 